Hi, and welcome to week 52 of the Monologue Project. This week we have A Question of Mercy by David Rabe. The character is Susanna. I had not thought about this play in a million years. Um, you young folks may not remember this, but back in the day, um, a couple decades ago, a decade and a half or so ago, um, there was a lot of discussion about euthanasia and what that means both for the people who were um, suffering from, you know, extended um, terminal illnesses um, and the people that are left behind. So David Ray wrote this play and it was sort of about that in the shadow of the AIDS epidemic. So um, what this monologue is about is, you know, what do you do? Like, who, who do you side with? Do you side with the person who is extraordinarily ill and just wants it to be over? Or do you side with the person who's going to be left behind after all that? So um, great, P I, you know, it's, it's short, which is nice. Um, I've noticed a lot of the monologues in this book are shorter, which is, this is what happens when you pick an American publisher because they understand the two minute thing. But um, a lot of the pieces are shorter. Um, so it's a nice short piece. It doesn't tell a whole story, which I know a lot of times is is the the hope for a monologue, but it, it does, it dives into these really beautiful, deep emotional places that she has to go through while trying to maintain this air of, I did the right thing, this was a very intellectual decision, you know, the, this was the right thing to do, which in a situation like that, there is no right or wrong. So a character will have to do everything they can to sort of grasp onto their version of right. So um, you can have all kinds of fun with deciding, does she really believe that this is right? Or is this just the thing she's telling herself over and over again? So have fun with this. My, uh, I forgot to look, but I, I believe, like I would say late 20s through 40s, I would think would be appropriate for this particular piece. It's just nice and there's lots of great big words and you can throw your mouth around some fun that way. So anyway, all that said, this is A Question of Mercy by David Rabe, Susanna. My philosophy, if I can call it that, uh, has always been more about the interpersonal moment. Um, in other words, uh, what are we doing? What can we do? You know, these two men were my friends. Anthony was the dear one. I mean, the one who was a delight. He was fun and startling the way he would come up with the precisely appropriate gesture that was somehow totally unexpected. But Thomas moved me more. And that's why I ended up doing what I did. At least I think it is. I mean, there was Thomas, and he was going to live after all this, wasn't he? Did the extremity of Anthony's circumstance eliminate every other concern? Was I wrong to side with the living? I know there are counter-arguments. But in the version of the dispute that I conducted within myself, the conclusion seemed absolute. I had to protect Thomas. For the longest time, I didn't know what I was to do. And I had the wisdom and the patience not to act, not to be rash, but to wait until it came to me, until I knew the function I was to provide. And once I knew, I did it. That's my strength, really. It's, it's my virtue. Anthony needed a protection that I couldn't grant. But what Thomas needed was within my reach, so, so I gave it. <laughs>